Chocolate chip cookies, no recipe. That's what's happening here. Procure one bowl. You don't need as many bowls as I have. There will be exactly no measuring here. Crisco, that much. Looks like it was time to refill our brown sugar keeper anyhow. Two birds, one stone. I gotta do some mental math here. Great googly moogly. Brown sugar. Okay, so we don't. Brown sugar, that much. I don't, I don't know. White sugar. Looks good. I, I, this could be a horrible. The real question is how many trips back and forth is it gonna take me before I start leaving things on the countertop? I'm gonna guess seven. So normally when I do this, my goal is to make one cookie and I usually make three, but I'm going for three to six. So my ratio is off and my normal recipe makes three and a half dozen. Um, I usually double it. So I usually get six and a half or seven dozen. So, and I usually use a mixer. I realize my mixer is literally right there. I don't wanna. And we're here to play, not to work. It's not looking right, but we're continuing. We are going to start with one egg. Two eggs. That much. Vanilla, however much. Some salt, like a pinch or two. I don't know. Why? This isn't a recipe. Use your own recipe or eyeball it on your own. A pinch of baking soda. An even pinchier pinch of cornstarch. Like a, a actual, literal, real life pinch. Once again, this isn't a recipe. Don't do what I'm doing. Do what you want to do or buy the, buy the break and bakes. Bacon break, break, take and breaks? Bacon break. Take and break. Take, take and break. Take and break. Buy the take and break cookies or the slice and bakes. I would have had slice and bake cookies. I don't know how much flour. Flour, put flour in your bowl. Break and bake. You break them, then you bake them. I'm like I'm having a stroke. I have to taste the dough. I've made cookies enough in my life that I know what the dough should taste like. Needs more flour. And yes, I know flour is the reason, one of the reasons why cookie dough is not safe to eat. Because birds poop on the fields of wheat. And then the wheat that comes into your flour is mixed in and bird shit is now scattered everywhere amongst all the flour. So if you bake your flour before you mix it up and let it cool, then you have safe to eat cookie dough if you don't use eggs. You're welcome for this history lesson. I'm just tired and I wanted cookies really bad. I could have gone to bed or I could make cookies. And guess who's up waiting for cookies with me? You. So that means you probably want some fucking cookies. Chocolate chips. Mini ones. A half a bag. We're making a lot of cookies here, babe. Take your guesses in the comments right now how many cookies you think this is going to make and we'll find out together. And I promise, even though the thought just crossed my mind, I will not make one giant cookie to throw off your ratio. This is how much? How many cookies? I'm using a cookie scoop. This one. This is not a tutorial. This is just for funsies. Stick this in the oven, 350 degrees until they're done. Like 13 minutes. They're in the oven. It made 20 and a half cookies. So if you guess 20 and one half, you're correct. You win nothing. This is not what these cookies are supposed to look like, but they'll have to do tonight. Cause that's the cookies I have. They're really flat. They look good, but they don't look like my cookies. And I know what you're thinking. Is it even good? And did she wait until it was cool? No, I didn't. But let's give it a try because I don't want to wait any longer. This is what it looks like. Tastes like a cookie. Tastes like a cookie you didn't use a recipe for. The ratios are off. Is it good? Of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more whatever the hell mess this was.